It's spring and fishing season, so we head north to the Altmar Williamstown area, an area rich with fishing streams, rivers, and ponds. The Native Americans knew of this land of plenty, and the early pioneers were also attracted to the wild game and lumber. We visit with town historian Glenna Gorski at the Williamstown Historical Society. Uh, Williamstown was first settled in 1801. It was uh, incorporated in 1804. Uh, it became a town in 1804. Um, the first settler was uh, Mr. Comstock, um, and he settled on lot 177, I think. <laughs> and why did he come here? Why did people settle? Agriculture, there? yeah. There, um, I think uh, during the Revolutionary War, they uh, allowed a land to be given to Revolutionary War soldiers. The Williamstown Historical Society is located right behind the public library. The library is a hub of activity and a popular community gathering place. This was a tenant house for the Burdick Farm. It was built in the mid-1800s. Come here today and it's this charming little library. And when the children come here, not only do they have access to all kinds of books, but they also can pick up a handful or two of animal crackers. Not only do they have free animal crackers, but way out here in the middle of the country, they also have free Wi-Fi. Yes, know that Williamstown is home to New York State's largest cranberry farm. Here there are over 300 acres making Williamstown the cranberry capital of New York State. The interesting thing is that they are a vine and they grow in a bog and they grow no taller than eight inches. travel scenic County Route 19 to Case Road and Stone Creek Music. Ron White's hobby and love of music has turned into his vocation. He is dedicated to spreading the joy music brings to life. I've had it for 10 years now and it started slowly. I came over here to build instruments and uh, Next thing I knew, I had instruments hanging on the wall in one of the social establishments down on 13 and a small shop next to that building. And I moved up here about six years ago next to the house. So people kept asking me if I could get stuff for them. Mm -hmm. So you know, next thing I knew, I'm in retail up to my ears. So <laughs> it grew on me, I guess. My first career was, uh, I worked in medical imaging. Um, I worked on uh, CT, nuclear medicine, MRI machines. Mm -hmm. Work for the work as a manufacturer's representative. So you, this was a hobby that turned into something. More? This is a lifelong hobby that turned into a vocation. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, what happens here? We do repairs. Of course, we do band instrument rentals. Um, we have jam sessions on Saturdays that are open to the public from two to five. Mm -hmm. I play guitar predominantly, but I also play violin, mandolin, banjo. I play at everything. I uh, decided a few years ago I needed to learn to play everything I sold so I could evaluate instruments. Now, I have never been able to play a musical instrument, but Ron just told me that he could teach me from scratch, so that maybe I ought to come out here myself for one of these jam sessions and learn how to play some kind of instrument, right? Anything at all? Okay. To see what we can see Traveling round we travel further along Case Road to what is considered the Great Wall of Oswego County. 
This stone wall was built over 130 years ago and stands the test of time as a tribute to Williamstown's early pioneers. Jonathan Case was an early settler in Williamstown. He had apple orchards. And here on Case Road, there is an extensive system of stone walls that was built to keep the animals out of the orchards. Come here and take a look because there has to be tens of thousands of stones laid on top of each other. Can you imagine how long it must have taken to do it and how much work must have been involved? You walk four miles along the highway Along such a road to lay your head Yet come the decision To make it home before he's dead in the great tradition of Williamstown's game hunting is the Great White North Trading Post. Here you'll find everything you need for hunting, fishing, and camping. And the Huntleys are more than happy to share their knowledge of local hunting and fishing spots. Make a note to come out here in the wintertime to Williamstown and come here to the Trading Post because Les will then take you out into the wild and introduce you to some bald eagles this year they spotted nine eagles, bald and golden. They are nesting here, so make it a point yourself to come out here and spot these beautiful, beautiful birds.